we're going to do the probability of drawing one blue marble. And then I'm also going to do these other two probabilities. Let's go ahead and start with the probability of a blue. To do any probability, we need to use the formula where we count up the number of favorable outcomes and divide that by the total number of outcomes. So in this case, favorable is a blue, and I've got three of those, and our total is the total number of marbles that we have. So if I were to add seven plus three plus 10, that tells me that N, my total, is equal to 20. So putting my probability together, the probability of drawing one blue marble is equal to the number of favorable ways. Well, there are three blue marbles that I could draw from divided by the total number of marbles, which is 20. If I divide that in my calculator, I end up with 0.15. Or if I move my decimal place, I can say that this would be 15%. Let's do another one. Next, I've got the probability of drawing again a single marble, and I want the probability of that marble being either blue or green. See if you can work this one out, put your answer in the comments, and then check with me. Now, I know that when I do this probability, I again need favorable out of total. So I'm just going to go fav out of n, n is my total. And the favorable is going to be all of the blues or all of the greens. So I'm going to add those two totals together. Doing my favorable outcomes first, I would be happy with a blue marble. There are three of those. I'm going to add to those all of the green ones because those are also favorable outcomes and I've got 10 of those. So I've got 3 plus 10 divided by the total number of marbles, which is 20. Adding that up, I get 13 twentieths. Let's go ahead and divide this one in the calculator. So 13 divided by 20 and I end up with 0.65. So 0.65. Moving that decimal place two places, I can also write this as 65%. Okay, how did you do? Hopefully you did great and you get a star. Let's do the last one. Let's see if you can do this last one. So I want you to find the probability of not a blue marble. Check back with me. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together using favorable out of total. So favorable out of total, I'm gonna to write that as N. This time I don't want a blue. There are two different ways to get to this answer. The first one is to cross off those blue marbles. You know that you'll take any other color, which would be for our favorable, the seven reds, or, so I'm gonna add that together, or the 10 greens, which would be 20. So we end up with 17 out of 20, and 17 out of 20 gives us 0.85 or 85%. Now, the other way that you could have done it is using a complement. So if I wanted to use a complement, I can subtract what I don't want. And I can start with the probability of everything minus the blues that I don't want. So that would be 20 minus three over the 20 total. And that gets me right back to the 17 out of 20 or the 85%. You might be wondering what happens if we draw two marbles instead of drawing one. Take a look at this next video. You guys are doing great. Thanks so much for watching.